Now you're gonna learn how to spawn. In this case, you can spawn in two different ways. You can spawn through the object you want to spawn and through something else. For example, like the coder. I'll teach you both. But let's start with the first one. Just like I teach you in the other videos, you add an object. I'll choose an apple. So now that we have our apple, we click on it to program it. Click on the plus next to when. We click on the one it says timer. Now click again on the plus sign. And now you can choose the time you want the apple to spawn. I'll choose, for example, um, like two seconds. So now that we told the computer the time, we need to tell him what we want him to do. And in this case, we want to spawn apples, many apples. So this time you click on the plus next to do. And now we tell him what we want him to do. Click on the Actions button and choose Create. Click on the plus sign again and choose Apple because it's our object. Now let's go back. Now we just need to wait two seconds and it's done. By the way, if you want to do this with other objects, it's the same for all of them. Now, let's delete our apple. So, I can teach you how you can spawn apples or other objects uh, through the Kodo object, for example. So, let's add a Kodo to our map. Just like the one before you program it. Click on the plus next to when, click on timer, choose the time you want, I'll choose two seconds again, do actions, create, I'll choose an apple again. Now let's go back, wait two seconds again and here it is! As you saw, it's pretty simple to spawn on Kodu.